I'm ready. Do you have a puppy? I have a puppy. Do you want a puppy? Uh, yeah, I need a puppy. Okay, get that. Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be doing a Q&A <laughs> while the puppies play on the floor. It's <laughs> not even nothing's <laughs> happening. Literally, like there's... <laughs> I took some questions from you guys on Instagram um, to do a Q&A with Hyman, my husband. So yeah. we're going to be answering those. It's fun. I like to yeah. do these. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's been a while since we've done one yeah, together. Has been. We just did like the husband tag. Is that what it was? Yes, that was the husband ah, tag. Ah, okay, okay, okay. No one ever tells me I've been around here. Just make me. You just don't listen. Okay, uh, Marco Space Apple, what YouTuber is your favorite? So mine, my favorite YouTubers are like Philip DeFranco, Lindsay Sterling, Jenna Marbles. I guess I have a couple. That's <laughs> so cool. those ones like off the top of my head. So before you started doing YouTube, I never I never really was a big YouTube fan. Like I didn't actually sit there and watch stuff. Okay. Uh, once I met once you started doing this is when I realized how important and how much work this goes into it, which it made me value it more. So since then I think you're my favorite YouTuber. <laughs> Because you just are, and you show me how much dedication it takes. It's hard, man. I'm like, oh, no, I like my, I like my job. I like working at what I do. It's much easier. Yeah, I don't think that that counts. It counts. It counts. Oh. But Puppy Rowan thinks it counts. They think it counts, Rowan. He's like, yeah, it counts. Now let me bite his hand off. Actually, there's somebody, like, trying to bite my shoe off oh, my foot. That's Thor. He bites everything, though. Oh, well, that's pretty cute. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if that counts, but... <laughs> it's a, I just don't have anyone else. Like, you're the, literally the only person that I'm like, yes. I have people that I, like, am subscribed to, but I don't even know when I subscribe to them. <laughs> I got half of them, I don't even know okay, who they are. That's not the answer I thought you were going to give, because I thought it was going to be, like, uh, one of the guys that does the workout videos. At Lee Nex. Like you're, yeah, because you're, like, a dream rat now. <laughs> <laughs> I like his videos. At Lee Nex is... At, at Lee... Next, because it's at and then lean X. Yeah, I think he's really good. I do. Okay. I think he is. I think he's very knowledgeable. But I just can't call myself like a hardcore fan, like favorite, favorite. Okay. I like his information. I think he's very knowledgeable. So I guess, yeah, we could that. We could say that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's fair enough. Okay, next question. Wild uh, Fauna. If you could own five breeds of dogs, and each had to be different, what would they be? <laughs> I um, so yeah, so like they can't be like it can't be five corgis. It has to be like five. Different corgis. ones, yeah. Yeah. Why well, I, I would like a corgi. Okay, corgi's one. Okay. Caspian's a breed. Of its own. <laughs> <I don't know laughs> <that can. laughs> Whatever he is, I okay. like him. Um a chihuahua. You always have to have a chihuahua. Oh, you a can't chihuahua? be Yeah, you can't be without a chihuahua. Uh, they're the best alarms. Let me see. Oh, the puny little dogs that I like. What are they called? Oh, Yorkies. A Yorkie, because okay, so all bodybuilders have a Yorkie. I, I, oh. <laughs> that's, I the only way, that's the only way to get big games, is you have to have a Yorkie. That's it. Okay, so wait, hold on. It's a Corgi, a Yorkie, a Chihuahua, a Caspian. Caspian. I think that's four. And a Porsche. Porsche counts like a Porsche's not a dog. Yeah, he is. <laughs> see, I was about to get him. He's a dog. He's a dog. Porsche's a dog. <laughs> well, he acts like a dog. He acts like a dog. No, okay, so the actual dogs. Um, oh, Great Pyrenees. Oh, yeah, I, I Great like Great Pyrenees. Pyrenees. Oh, yeah, yeah, I think those are cool. Be. Yeah, those are pretty oh, cool, man. Yeah. Okay, this one was hard, but because I was like a corgi. And but then, then I thought corgi. about it and corgi. I'm like, technically, <laughs> a Pembroke wash corgi and a cardigan wash corgi. I, I don't think that's Everybody wants to get technical about how they're two different breeds. I think. <laughs> Wild here, they don't want to get technical. I think they want to just get basic. So, I think it still counts as no, two. Corgi counts as one. I had to come up Why? with one. Corgi counts as one. But it's just, it's still even a dog. It's not even a cat. I re I took my cat one. You can say a Caspian if you want to, but that's about as much as is permitted, I think. Okay, fine. <laughs> I'm gonna go with a Caspian, a Corgi, a Chihuahua, because we have Evie. <laughs> Can't live without one. Just can't. I'd say, well, I do like the Great Pyrenees, but it's so weird because, like, in my head, like, Caspian doesn't like big dogs, so in my head, I just think I can't have a big dog. Mm. But I guess let's say the Caspian likes big dogs in this situation, and I think the the last two would be the Great Pyrenees and a Golden Retriever. Mm. Mm. Okay. So you're to the Yorkie with a Golden Retriever. Very manly. Yeah, 
I mean, Mine was manlier. I would even go with like a basset hound over a Yorkie. <laughs> Mine is way manlier than that. Manly dogs. <laughs> because basset hounds have little legs like corgis. But the weight bodybuilders have your. Uh, Bassett Hounds? Bassett Hounds, no. They have Yorkies. Maybe they do. They kind of look like Some bodybuilders. Some of the bigger people I've met have <laughs> Yorkies as their pets. <laughs> CI dot animals. Is there any pet you want but Jaime won't let you get? Huh. No. <laughs> Can't say no. That's a <laughs> yeah. problem. You say yes to everything. <laughs> I'm like, no. You can only have two of those. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have a problem with saying no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's an issue about that. That's how we have all these quirkies. Yeah, look at all these. Okay, I'm gonna get another one. You're gonna get a different one? Yes. Mm, I like that one. That one's a little brat. He's okay. a vicious Here's brat. The That's all. Oh, there he is. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. Ready, set, um, Zao? Zao, so, yeah. Thank mm -hmm. you. Sort of relevant to the service dog video, how could a partner be supportive of someone who has depression or anxiety? Was there anything Jaime did that stood out that you really appreciated? Like I think to me the most important thing is to uh, listen to to what your partner wants. He's barking it's at the box. It's hard to be serious. He's barking at the box because the cat's going in the litter box and he's upset that it's in the litter box. He's barking at the litter box. Because the reek's moving? No, no, he's the cat's in there right now going, okay. doing his business. It's like a serious topic and the little dog's barking. Uh, I think that the most important thing is to listen to what your partner needs from you. Um, like in my, like for me, if I'm having a panic attack, I like to be hugged. And some people don't, like, and I don't want to be hugged just by anybody. I want to be hugged behind me. <laughs> um, and some people don't want to be touched. So I think... Like to me, that's what's important is listening to what they need, because um, that's what stands out to me. Is like it helps me get over it quicker if he hugs me when it happens. I think this was more of your question, right? Is there any part that's well, no, because they're asking you like, um, how can a partner be supportive? So I guess as somebody who doesn't have anxiety and depression, what are some things uh. that you've <coughs> It, I think it's very hard at the beginning because you don't know how to react. You don't know what will be right and what will be wrong. Because I remember there was things mm -hmm. that I used to do that something's caused it to get worse. Yeah. You know? And um, so I would say not to listen, not to not to go online and read, and, but actually like read stuff that tells you what to do. I think the important thing is to listen to your partner and not base it off on what you hear or what you see or what someone else told you they would that helps them because what helps one person doesn't help the other mm -hmm. and I think to be supportive in the treatment that your partner wishes um, like you didn't want medication mm -hmm. you wanted a dog you want well, you want an alternative yeah so luckily I was working in a clinic where they helped me understand other alternatives you had and this was one of the alternatives so I think it's very important to listen to your partner what they want and not judge what they want based on your opinion you're not the one going through it. Yeah. They're the ones going through it. So it's very important to just be supportive in that aspect. And one of the things I wanted to say about you know the medication is like that was my preference because I get really sick on medication. But you know that medication would probably work for somebody else. So yeah, it just depends on the Another individual. Person. Yeah, uh, greatly. Brandon Step, are you going on tour anytime soon? <laughs> so I don't know if like that count tour exactly. That sounds like too big of a word. <laughs> um, but actually this year in 2018, I do plan on trying to go to events, um, maybe even, even in other states, and hopefully be able to meet some of you guys. So I, that is something that I do wanna start trying to do. Yeah. Star Wars fan 680. Who is your favorite Star Wars character? Mine is R2D2. So who's, who's yours? I do like R2D2. I do think that's, he's pretty that's cool. That's their favorite one. So I can't pick that one. Obviously, <laughs> right? um, mm. Mm. I think uh, Anakin. Yeah? Yeah. Anakin <laughs> that's not fair. That's my favorite character. <laughs> my favorite character is Anakin, but like Kylo Ren's becoming my like new favorite uh, character yeah. for the new the new movies. I still think I see you more, <clears throat> fanis, more fanatic about Kylo. 
mm -hmm. than you ever were about Anakin. That's I true. really do. Like, I yeah. think you, you're more like Kylo's cool. And I, well, I still like I think, though, that it's because, like, <clears throat> with Kylo Ren, it's the opposite. Like, he starts off as bad, and he's slowly becoming good. Whereas, um, with Anakin, like, you knew it was going to be a tragedy. Like, there was going to be no happy ending, so you couldn't, like, I don't know, get super excited about it. <laughs> well, I think he balanced the before so I think that's uh, technically technically yeah <laughs> yeah I, I liked it because I felt like it was it was a hero you know not all heroes end up in a positive note at the end I guess so. I think I like yeah. him I do like him <laughs> next question is from Ava Peters 08 were you happy when Luna gave birth to nine puppies <laughs> I was I was very happy because they were all coming out great I was it was just stressful man <laughs> like yeah. I was like you were all stressed out. Yeah, because I was like, okay, one puppy, we're good, we're we're almost there. Oh, two puppies, yes, one more. Okay, <laughs> all right, I'd three's guess, good. And then... I'd guess like four. See, so, yeah, I had guess between three and five. So I thought, okay, three, all right, okay, and then four came back, and then five. And then they kept coming, and I was like, this is, this is... Yeah, ah, I remember telling you, crazy. oh, um, puppy number seven is coming out, and you're like, what? <laughs> so we were really happy about the nine puppies. It was just yeah. kind of stressful at first because our whole thing was, well, she'll have like two, three, maybe four. We'll like rehome one, and we'll keep most of them. And then it was like nine, and you realized we couldn't keep all of them. I remember I was like, if she has four, we'll just keep all of them. And you're like, no, no, only three. And I said, no, no, we'll keep all four of them. We'll just keep everything that she got. And then she got nine, and I was like... Well, yeah. Well, who were you wanting to rehome to? <laughs> yeah. Well, the good thing is, is that we actually had a lot of people that were asking us for corgis. It, it just we had told most of them like, um, yeah, we'll let you know because we're like we don't we won't have any for yeah. them. But no, and they, they came out healthy and they're vicious man-eating corgis. Yeah, with their little arms. They eat people for a living. <laughs> okay, https dot gen gen. Uh, what is your all-time favorite animal? Mine's uh, elephants and wolves. What's yours? Think lions and llamas. Lions and llamas? <laughs> That's like so different. Such a big difference. <laughs> it's just the llamas are so intelligent. They're hardcore, man. Those things are like, I'm watching you. Yeah. I'm like, you're so adorable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, llamas actually are pretty cool. And llama and lions because I was Leo and ever since I was little, I really like lions. I think they're strong. Yeah. You? Well, lions are, oh, I said um, elephants and wolves. No, right? I know. But I said, what? Well, what is the reason you like? Oh, what's the reason? Oh, yeah. um, and because I think that elephants are super intelligent. I think that there's a lot that we still don't understand about them, um, and ha and how intelligent they really are. Uh, and I think that they're also compassionate, which is something I think you don't usually see within mm -hmm. animals. Remy keeps dropping things. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Remy's and I was taking it off my hair. Uh, sorry, Remy's like dropping things on high mail. Yeah, <laughs> and I'm like Remy. You should be used to it by now. <laughs> I pass by and she's bathing. She's like choo choo and just squirts all the water everywhere. <laughs> yeah, that happens a lot. All right. Uh, so. Oh, okay. So, uh, what was I saying about elephants? Uh, no, oh, yeah. yeah. So yeah, that's like um, I think they they're just very very intelligent, um, and you can read like a lot of stuff on them where. If they've just been seen doing things that people have thought were limited only to humans. Mm. And then wolves, because that's like my spirit animal kind of a thing. That's pretty cool. <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah. That is neat. The next question is from Harry Gilbertson. In terms of Luna's health, how is she doing after having the puppies? Uh, so Luna's actually doing really good. She's um, had been nursing like once a day, but I don't think she's actually going to nurse today. I need to kind of check her. But yesterday she didn't have a lot of milk. I let her nurse for a little bit, and I think today we might be stopping. So uh, once she went down to nursing once a day, she started gaining weight really quickly. She lost weight about like two weeks before yeah. she gave birth, because she actually had milk ten days before she had puppies, and she just oh, lost sure. weight really quickly. Um, and then. She actually started slowly, slowly putting on <clears throat> weight after the puppies were born, but then once like she stopped nursing them, I, it was better. Yeah. The good thing is I think she's gained it as good as she lost it. Yeah. It hasn't been from one minute to the other, but she's gaining it back up in a healthy yeah. manner, and I think she's doing great. Mm -hmm. Just got bitten in the nose. You got bit in your nose? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> La Prairie says studies. Okay. 
I don't know if I got that right. Uh, do you want to have baby guinea pigs? Yeah, like a whole yeah. horde of guinea pigs. <laughs> We've talked about this. You guys should have asked this until like a hundred. She them. wants instead of having like <laughs> alpacas and llamas, she wants to have just like thousands of guinea pigs living outside yeah. and just like and so that taking. when they um, pass by, it's just a cloud of dust. Never that they like, like oh, raised no. over the day. Yeah. Oh no, the guinea pigs are back. <laughs> um, <laughs> It would be cool, but I, I don't yeah. think so. Yeah. Well, um, I just have two girl guinea pigs, and since here in our climate, the guinea pigs have to live in the house, I don't have room for a lot of guinea pigs, so I only have two. Like, I wish I could have guinea pigs outside, and if I could build them, like, a really neat pen outdoors, mm -hmm. I would have a bunch more guinea pigs. Um, yeah. But here, it gets way too hot during the summer, and they can't breathe right, and they actually just get, like, a heat stroke and die, so... Yeah, That's... and that would be hard. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They would be really cool. I actually like the guinea pigs, too. I they're, think they're cool. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's cool because sometimes I see the videos of people that have guinea pigs in, like, England. Mm. And they have their guinea pigs outdoors, like, all summer. That's cool. I think my favorite guinea pigs are the skinny pigs and the hairy piggies. The ones that have very long hair. Oh, yeah. Goes from one extreme <laughs> to the other. <Yeah. laughs> Next question is from Evermac. Uh, what, who is your newest pet? Um, these? Yeah, I think, <laughs> I think these ones are the these newest are the ones. Um, I got the gecko, but it was before the puppies were born. Yeah, no. And that's pretty much been the... Yeah, this one. This one right here. Look at this. Oh, look, he moved his foot. Yeah, he moved his foot. Oh, oh there you go. <laughs> there we go. Chloe 303. Which pet that you own is the hardest to look after? What, which one do you think is hard? Oh, see, I don't know. I, uh, I don't take her too, too much of the little ones, so I'm not sure. Yeah. Uh, I think right now the puppies are the hardest to take care of. Oh, yeah. Because they require so a lot of attention. Pain. A cleaning, but attention, too, you know. They, they need an attention. Because they, they need a lot of, you know, a lot of actual attention with one-on-one. -on -one. Play with them, and then you need to make sure they're safe and make sure they're okay. And I, yeah. I think that I think that right now is, is the hardest. Because most of the animals, I think, are... Are okay. I would say that like um, having a pig is one of the hardest things. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, just because they're it's it's literally like having a little kid. And they're very temperamental. And the thing is, one day you'll wake up and they love you and everything's great, and then the next day they want to like eat you <laughs> for dinner. Well, that's just you. <laughs> <laughs> I I guess that one. Um, yeah. Yeah, because the goats, yeah, they're all pretty good. The, the alpacas stress me out when we have to move them. Oh, yeah. Because they, they stress out. They're very out. delicate. They're very delicate. Uh, honestly, other than that, I think everyone else is pretty good. Oh, uh, Connor Pets, how old is Caspian and how do you deal with people asking you why you have a service dog for other people dealing with it? Uh, sorry, going too deep. Uh, okay, so uh, Caspian's going to be six in March and. I just usually, like if somebody's like, oh, uh, what's he for? I'm like, um, f for medical purposes. And usually people just kind of like leave it at that. Uh, or sometimes um, they'll kind of like keep asking and it's like, uh, well, it's private. Um, I just pretty much don't answer any questions about Caspian when I'm out. I don't tell people, you know, what his name is. I don't tell them what he's for. Um, I used to be like, oh, his name's Caspian, but then they'd start trying to call him and distract him and get him away oh, from yeah. me, and it was really annoying. Oh, yeah. So, I just basically give very just, short answers. She's got water on. <laughs> <laughs> I think she's aiming for you. I think so, too. This is funny. Um, okay, how do you deal with it? I deal with it with, I mean, when they ask me, because I have coworkers and people who are like, what did, why does she have a dog? Now I tell them you can watch her video. Oh, and just, yeah. <laughs> you know? But before what I used to say was, um, if you, I, I used to tell them for medical reasons, but I, I don't like to discuss it because it's her private information. I think that's the best yeah. way to approach it before. But now, I just return to the video and hopefully become a fan <laughs> and then they're good. That's a good answer. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think that's a good answer if it's um, somebody else's service dog and it's like your family member or something and you just tell them, oh, it's their private information. Yeah. I think that was pretty good answer. B is my baby. When did you get your first pet and what was it? So. He's being very attentive. 
Um, my first pet, I don't even know what it was. I've been with animals my whole life. Um, I'll probably pop some pictures in right now so you can kind of see. So. <laughs> <laughs> Probably like a deer was one of the first pets that. Yeah, I, because I had. I've seen photos with yeah. you where you were barely like walking. I had with a, a bottle. bottle. I had yeah. a bottle and I was with my deer. Probably we were using the same bottle. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> my first pet was a dog. It was uh, my little chihuahua dog, a chiquita. Chiquita? Yeah. 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 He still had her when I met him. Yeah. Yeah, she was yeah. very old. Very old. Oh, those chihuahuas live forever. Yeah, they do. Yeah. And everyone down here has chihuahuas. So <laughs> That's just part of life. <laughs> <laughs> we have one. <laughs> Christian Richard, is there any of the animals that you um, only have one of that you would want another one of? Which animal would it be and why? Actually, we, we were talking about this recently because yeah. um, about getting another pig. Uh, we're not going to get another pig anytime soon, but that's something that, like, in the future we would get another pig. I think I would like that eventually. A yeah. pig would be kind of cool. Other than that, uh... Oh, your new gecko. I think that's really cool. I think we should later on get something else like it. Oh, like another uh, Halloween gecko? Yeah, that one's really cool. Yeah. I don't know. See, like, to me, I would get a different type of gecko. Like, my mm. next gecko would be something, a different species, because there's so many. Yeah, I get you. Yeah, that makes sense. Let me see. Is there anything else? No, that's it. You're right. Piggy. And Bella likes dogs way too much. <laughs> <laughs> what is it like owning so many animals? Um, well, it's um, it's fun because you always have a lot of animals surrounding you, and you can you know play with them and everything. It's a lot of work. It's time consuming. It's a huge responsibility. <laughs> yeah, it is responsible. It takes a lot of money. <laughs> takes money, time. But they're worth it. I like them because. Uh, What's it like for you? Because you didn't have animals like really growing up, except for, for the dog. Um, it's different in the fact that I tell my family, and my family are not very used to it. Um, they're just like my immediate family, like my parents and them. I think are used to it now. Yeah, they weren't at first. I think yeah. they thought we were weird. <laughs> yeah, but I think my other family still kind of like they like it. They mm -hmm. think it's cool. Um, I like it because I can see how much it helps you distress, and that's really nice to yeah. see you be able to relax and especially with you know sometimes your anxiety and stuff it I think it helps out a lot. It's yeah, nice to it see does. you just relax and see to me, I like technology, and that relaxes me like <laughs> I can take apart a computer and have fun with that and um but with you, I think this is a lot of so it, it's nice, and then I like to play with them, and they help me distress too, and they give me sometimes they keep me busy. Yeah. They keep me very busy. <laughs> they keep me working out by lifting all the bills of hate. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching this video. And don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Ron, say bye. Bye. Yeah. Bye. Did you no. say bye, Ron? Did Ron say bye? Ron's like, look, like I'm tired. I just want to bite your nose. <laughs> That's all I want to do. <laughs> it was fun. Thanks was for life. watching. I'll see you guys Thank next you. time. Bye. Bye. Smiling. That's cute. <laughs> <laughs>